Hey y'all, I'm Jess, and today I'm gonna show you how to use Rapid Procurement's Crystal Epoxy Casting Kit. So I've got some coasters that are already pre-made in front of me. I made them with some flow paints just on top of some old tiles. So what I'm gonna do is show you the most basic casting method using a casting kit. So this is a three to one ratio mixing kit, which means we're gonna be mixing three parts of the epoxy to one part of the hardener. This resin likes to work at room temperature or just above. So in order to make sure that this flows nice and smooth, I'm just gonna put that into the warm water bath for a few minutes and let that sit there while I prep up. So I've just got some Dixie cups here and I'm just adding some tape to the back and this is gonna help my coaster stay put while I'm working with them. Next, I need to make sure that these are nice and clean and don't have any dust. So I'm gonna wipe those down with some rubbing alcohol. Now it's time to get my resin ready. So I ended up using four ounces total of this resin. I went with three ounces of the epoxy and one ounce of the hardener. This was a bit too much for this project, but don't worry, there's always somewhere for resin to go in my shop. I'm mixing that up really well and I'm making sure to scrape my edges. Scraping the edges is so important because this helps make sure that you have a consistent mixture. All right, so I've got my coasters laid out in front of me. My resin is mixed. It's starting to warm, which is a good sign. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give these a quick coating. I only ended up using a little bit at the start to give these a nice prime. This has a really low viscosity rate, so I wanted to see how far it stretched and just really get that base coat to make sure I didn't end up with any blank spots. I'm just using a popsicle stick and I'm spreading that out all the way to the edges. And I'm even getting the edges with the popsicle stick. So you wanna make sure that the surface is fully covered, that it's all stretched out, and that your edges are coated as well. I ended up using two coats of resin, but all in the same sitting. So I added my first thin layer, gave it the base coat, and then I kept an eye on it because it had a nice long working time. The working time with this is 90 minutes. So I could go back, add my second coat while it was still wet, and I was able to keep an eye on my edges and make sure that they were nice and crisp. I used my heat gun to pop the air bubbles, which there really wasn't many of, and they are looking good. So here's the coaster before I put the epoxy on it. It was quite dull and it lost its vibrancy. Here they are 12 hours later. They're still a bit tacky so I can't touch, but they're so shiny. They have that crystal clear coat and I am so impressed. Rapid Procurement has passed my basic casting test and I'm ready to move on to a bigger project. Stay tuned.